This is what it's like to fight FNCS champion Vidil. All of this starts with his incredible ability to pressure walls. Now, to start this fight, there's a really small intricacy that he does here while wall replacing that I think most people should implement into their gameplay. Notice how the wall is 99 HP and one pickaxe swing will do 75. So he hits a small pump shot, which will lower it down to 42 HP, which allows him to wall replace it with one single pickaxe swing. And there's two main reasons you'd want to do this. Firstly, if the opponent edits on you, you pre-fire them and hit a shot already. And secondly, this makes the wall replace faster, meaning the opponent has less chance to make a play on you. And that's not the only wall replacing efficiency that he does. Even in this small action, he just jumps and pickaxes the wall before placing the floor, similarly replacing this wall faster than if he had just jumped up and double pickaxed it. And this same thing happens when he's dropping down onto a wall later in the fight. From then on, the main efficiency you'll see in his fight is just his ability to replace walls and edit with incredible speed. Now, if you watch this entire fight, from Vadil's perspective. Notice how fluid all of these different motions are. He goes from one wall replacing technique to another incredibly quickly. And this fluid motion and continual pressure combined with the quick and effective mechanics is what puts him above a lot of the other fighters in the world. Now back to that clip from the star. This is really where you can see the efficiency of his build replacement. Now, Vadil uses the two-shot shotgun relatively frequently because as a mechanical player, the almost instant pullout time gives him that upper hand when replacing builds. So the faster you can wall replace and edit, the faster you can hit your opponent before they can react. And then he just repeats that, but with his own cone instead. Now, I know you're thinking this is a relatively simple example, but Vadil has this mechanic locked down. And by watching this from the opponent's perspective, you can see there's almost nothing that he can do. Now, this right here is a really common situation players find themselves in. However, Vadil deals with this in an interesting way. While ramping over the player here, he places a floor underneath him, which of course boxes him out. Now, it's really common for opponents to just block you off here with a wall, and that's exactly what the opponent does. Now, Vadil does exactly what he did in the first example, pumps the wall, allowing him to replace the wall quicker. However, while replacing the wall, he places a cone underneath him, switches to his shotgun to avoid the pre-edit on the cone, and then instantly edits the wall, and of course, in Vadil style, hits a max damage pump. This combination of placing the wall, placing a cone, taking out your shotgun, and then editing, depending on your bind, can actually be a little bit awkward to do this quickly, but it's definitely something I would highly recommend practicing. Not only because it's useful in this situation, but useful in a ton of wall replacing scenarios. You can't always rely on these kind of mechanics when you're fighting with minimal materials. However, Vadil has some really great movement fundamentals that allow him to pick up eliminations in the early game. While editing a peanut bar edit, notice he always continually walks to the left to actually ensure he's hidden behind this wall. Now again, a really basic mechanic. However, the reason he's doing this so efficiently is because he wants to minimize the amount of 50-50s that he takes. And he'll really only do this when he has the disadvantage. Notice later in this clip that most people would have probably just jumped over this ramp and taken a shot, but he wraps all the way around to still give himself the right hand peek there. Every other angle that he could have taken here would have given the opponent the right hand peek, but not given him one. There are situations where the 50-50 is the best play, and that's when the opponent has an advantage and you can take away that leading edge from them. Now, mechanics and movement are really important, but something I think is probably more important that Vadil does really well is that he always reads his opponents and is always then one step ahead of them. Now, I've watched this clip multiple times and I've tried to figure out at what point did Vadil understand that the opponent was going to move to the left. And I think the answer to that is, well, he didn't. This play wasn't necessarily reading the opponent, but reading the situation. Vadil could have either wrapped around the outside, where he would have had to start breaking walls, which again would have taken time, or the more simple play is as he drops down, he simply notices there's a wall open to the left, which gets into this guy's box, and will finish a fight quickly, which could be drawn out a lot longer if another play had been made. This skill is incredibly valuable because in end games, a lot of the time, you're going to be given situations like this, where there's a mess of builds that have some form of openings in them, and being able to piece up players like this can net you an incredible large amount of eliminations when it comes to moving zones. If you enjoyed this episode of Mechanics of the Pros, I have a whole playlist of them that you can click right here.